Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a how I edit my YouTube videos. Thought maybe someone wants needs some help editing or they want to start YouTube or something. So that's what I'm gonna do doing with this bad boy. I am an idiot. With this bad boy. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's just get into the video. While I'm doing this, I'm on my computer and screen recording. What I use to edit is iMovie, so I'm gonna go into that and I'm gonna go into like an old project. So how I edit my YouTube videos using iMovie. I'm gonna start with how I cut videos and that's the basic of everything. Basically when you're editing, you're basically just cutting out all the parts in a video that you don't want. Open this project and I'm going to go to the back of this setting right here and it's kind of like this bar and it can make the videos shorter so they're very short and you can go to very long it can like widen the video so that you can find the little parts that you want to take out which actually is very helpful because I stutter a lot I really need this oh my god Shelby <laughs> um <laughs> hi Shelby <laughs> what Okay. Today's cardio day. AK, the worst day of your workout. I'm trying to procrastinate because I don't want to do it. Do it, Shelby! Remember, Shelby, skinniness, 2021, you got this. Uh, no, and I even had a smoothie this morning with bananas, strawberries, and carrots. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of random story. <laughs> so, I'm going to just take out that like blurriness. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get hit Command B and that cuts your video. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is how I zoom into my videos like this. So, zoom in. Okay, and don't zoom in. Zoom in when you bring it in. Hi, back out. That's for editing, Caitlin, but that will just basically show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm going to take like this video and we're just gonna zoom into my face. So like this is the video from last video. Also go check that out. One of my favorite vlogs ever. I'm gonna show you how to my zoom in. When you zoom in, you wanna cut into the parts that you want. You don't wanna like have the entire video just zoomed into your face. What you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight the box and you're gonna go to this little box icon. And you're gonna hit that and that's basically, um, I guess it's called cropping. Um, so there's different types of videos. So that's the fit the video in the entire screen so it doesn't zoom in and zoom out. But for the crop, you just cro it's called crop to fill and you're going to just click that and you're going to just kind of drag it to like how much you want to be shown. So I just want my sh my face to be shown. <laughs> that's really creepy, okay. So you can just like expand the box. That's basically how you do it and you just zoom in like that and then you hit the little like blue check mark and when you play it so caitlin is i know it didn't really show oh frick this is not the best clip to show you but i really like using that because i think it's funny and it's especially funny when like someone's making like the weirdest face so now i'm going to also show you how to zoom into the video what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in on myself so i'm going to pick the part that i want it to zoom into so i'm going to pick this part and i'm going to highlight it and then I'm gonna go to the little box and I'm going to, my dogs are so loud. And then I'm gonna go to Ken Burns and there's gonna be like an outer box, like a wider box, and then there's going to be like this dotted line. Um, line that's all just white, that's the start one, so that's what it starts to. And then the end is kind of like how much it'll zoom into. You just click in that center of that box, it'll highlight it, and then you're going to just zoom it into what you want it. And you're gonna see this little arrow that's gonna show like the direction it's gonna zoom into. So, that's basically how you do it. Once you think you know, like you like how it is, you're just gonna play the video and it's gonna zoom in. So that's how to zoom into my videos. My water. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you guys, if you want a part two, just comment down below and I will give it to you. That was the biggest bird ever. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to get green screens. So this is like a really cool part because it helps just bring stuff in. I'm going to go to my Safari and I'm going to go into YouTube. For mine, I use a lot of Gabrielle Marie. I use the green screens in my intros. I'm just going to put in her name. I'm gonna hit this Monday one. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. That's cute. I'm gonna go into my like the search bar and I'm gonna hit Command C and that's going to copy the video and then I'm going to add a new tab and go to YouTube to MP3 
So you're going to go into the first one. This is the one I've been using. It's u 2 MB3 converter. And you're just gonna click that. Or if you guys are using any of her videos, make sure you give credit because it's always good to give credit, credits so you don't get copyrighted. You're going to hit Command V now and you're going to put it into the insert the URL. So it depends on what you're doing. So if you're doing audio, you wanna do, you wanna to click to MP3 right here. But if you're doing a video, you wanna do MP4. So since we're doing a video, I'm gonna click MP4. And then I'm gonna hit convert. And then once that's done, you're gonna hit download. And do not click anything because everything is probably a virus. Once it's done um, downloading, it's just going to just slide into the box. I have it in my little screen right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to exit out of that and find it in my finder. It was in my recent, so I'm just gonna slide that into the iMovie app. So I want it to show Monday right there. So I'm gonna probably put it um, like right here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to obviously cut the video to what you want it to say Monday on. So I'm going to click Command B and I'm going to use it for this little video right here. So I'm going to uh, drag in the Monday and just have it kind of just let it do its thing. Let, let it do its thing. <laughs> Take the stuff out that I want. So, yay, Shelby lived! Yay! Okay. So, and when you play, it's just gonna show the Monday like over top of it. Sorry, my windows are open and there's cars outside, sorry. Um, so it's just gonna show the greenness. So what you have to do is you're gonna click on to the green screen. For this one, you're gonna hit the two boxes. So it's like a straight box and then a like dotted box. So you're gonna click that and you're going to go into this bar that says cutaway and you're going to hit the down bar and you say green screen, green slash blue screen. No, dogs. Don't bark. I want to say hi to the video. Come here. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm going to go into it and it's just going to say Monday. So once you hit the blue screen to green screen, it should be good. That's how you do that. I am now going to go into how to add text. It's just. And I'm just going to put text here. I'm going to go to Safari. Oh, nope. We're not clicking that. No. But you're gonna go into Pick Monkey. You're gonna hit Create New, and then you're gonna go to Blank Canvas. Doesn't really matter if you create your own or anything, but I always just do 1280 to 720 because that's what it is for thumbnails. And I'm just gonna say Make It. I'm gonna just name it Text. <coughs> it's gonna just show this like blank canvas. So what you're gonna go is you're gonna go to Background Color, and you're gonna Open Background Palette. And then you're gonna hit pick a color. And you're not gonna use a color, you're actually gonna hit transparent. And it's gonna make these little like boxes on your screen. Transparent, make sure that it, like when you put it in your video, that you won't be able to see the background. So you're gonna go into text and you're gonna say add text. And I'm also gonna show you how to get fonts because I know a lot of people want fonts. All the fonts that I've downloaded into here. Um, and then these are the fonts they give you and they're kind of just plain and ew. So I've gotten this one, the Helvetica New Way Bold Italic. That's the one I use a lot. If you want to download it, you um, download new fonts. You're going to go to dafonts.com. It's this Christina one right here. I'm going to hit download. And it's going to download it to my computer. I'm going to go back into PicMonkey here. So there's going to be an upload fo your font right here. You're going to hit that and then you're going to hit choose fonts. And then I just got Christina. So where is it? this one right here. And I'm just going to. So I'm just going to click it and then hit choose. And it's going to upload the font. And then once it says uploaded successfully, you're going to hit I'm done. And then it takes a while, I think, sometimes to get it on. But like, see, right here it says Christina. And then I can. Chris Christina. I've been saying Christina. It's Clarista. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Anyway, but that's basically how you get font. It's really plain and simple. You can also get it on your iPhone too. I'm gonna hit the Helvetica. I say, I don't know, you're cute. Boo. I'm just gonna do that. And so I'm gonna put it to 72. And then I'm gonna put it to white. Um, that's just what I like. You can go for any color. I'm doing white though. Um, so you can't really see it, I know, um, but just don't worry, it's there. It doesn't matter where it's on in the picture because it doesn't really matter. But once you're done with it, you're going to hit download. And you want to make sure it's on PNG because that's how it's going to work. I'm gonna hit download. I'm obviously going to cut to where I want it to go in. So I'm going to go back to my finder and I'm going to find my download. This is the thing that says your cute boo. So I'm just going to drag that into the little bar right here. So I'm going to put it on this part. So we're going to exit out of that. 
and it just shows up on your computer basically. So it's really simple, but you just drag it into the parts on the video and then it just shows up. So like we're, so it just shows like that. But as you can see, it's zooming in and you don't want that. So you're gonna hit fit and then you're also gonna go to the little boxes and you're going to go into picture in picture. And this is basically how you can move around the font. I've just recently found this out. Um, so you can like change where it's at so it can go up here so it's not in like in your face. I'm gonna put it like right here. So now when I go into it, it should just say Kubo. And you can like make it smaller so you can like appear or something like that. And that's just how simple it is. So now we're gonna go into how you can move text. I haven't used this a lot. If I wanna have like a one rank here and it moves around, so editing Caitlin, do your magic. So it's gonna move around the screen right now and it's gonna fly out. I'm gonna have so much editing to do. Hey, how did you get your way? That was so bad. Anyway, so I'm gonna use this one. Hopefully you can't hear that. I really hope I don't get copyrighted for this, but this is what it sucks to have your bat your room right next to the bathroom. <clears throat> Anyhow, I'll turn the music down. I'm filming. Mom, I'm gonna get copyrighted. She's also right downstairs for me, so she can hear when I'm filming all the time. Anyway, but I'm going into the same little text thing, and I'm going to get like a circle, and I'm going to make that a different color because we don't like that color. So we're gonna do this color. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to go into text. My allergies are coming up now. <laughs> so it looks cute. And it's just in the center, so I'm gonna hit that and download it to my my computer. Oh sorry, picture in picture. What am I doing? Okay. So I'm gonna add this one like right here. And I think it's no, it's right here. Okay, so this is where I want it to go. So this little dot right here is going to basically allow me to move it. I'm gonna start from out here and we're just gonna add a click. You'll understand when, like, when you're watching me do it. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to add non copy music. Music that people allow you to use so you don't get copyrighted. So, I'm gonna go to fa Safari. <laughs> I don't know if I just did it like that. And I'm gonna go into saying non copy. I can't spell. You're gonna hit non copyrighted music and let's say popular aesthetic songs for intros, outros, and backgrounds. I use those a lot because they're like good music. It's like this. <gasps> this is perfect! I actually wanted to find these songs. Okay, so like this one is by Carly Jade. Sometimes they will say in their description that they want you to like give them credit for their songs. So sometimes you have to do that for your um, descriptions if you're using it. So just make sure you're careful about that because they can copyright you if they like find it um find their songs in your video basically um so what you're gonna you're gonna do command c and then you're gonna go to youtube to mp3 i mean yeah 
and since this is audio, you're gonna get, tap onto the MP3 and then you're just gonna command V and hit convert. Sometimes some videos like won't convert for some reason. Also, um, I'm thinking of posting since it's like the spring break thing, I might be posting like twice a week because um, I'm doing this this week. I might do it next week. I have some videos for that. Nope, we're not touching you. Nope. It's saying no to, like, to drugs. It will basically give you your computer corona, so don't touch it. <laughs> so it's going to come into my library. So you can... We'll stop. So you can log out of the... Um, Safari stuff, and you can also log out of the iTunes thing. Just hit this little down bar and just sell it in. That is so much easier. I'm an idiot. Okay. So basically, it's really simple. You just download it and then just drag it into your YouTube like audio station. Just make sure you add credit if they need it, if they like want it. You don't always have to add credit for videos, but if they ask for it, you definitely want to because then you can get copyrighted and that's not good. All right, so I am done with all of this. I really hope this helps you guys out. Literally after this video, I'm going to go edit. It takes a very long time and it's stressful at times, but it makes your videos look amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please go to like and that subscribe button and comment down below if you guys want a part two. Um, maybe I can show you guys different things to do. Ow. How to do my intro, my outro or something, or how I do my thumbnails or whatever you want. Like I will do it because I like helping people out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and away from germs. Okay guys.